Hello, my name is Nadav Eden and I'm a technical account manager here at Halo. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about our uh, cooperation and compatibility with different NXP platforms. Here before me we have a nice variety of different platforms. Um, we have the Bluebox 3.0, which is a high-end compute uh, development platform for uh, automotive. We have the Goldbox, uh, which is a development platform for automotive networking. We also have the Microsys Myriad board, which is high-end for machinery and automotive. And we have uh, some boards for uh, application processing, uh, this SBC, which is based on the IMX8 mini, and this EVK, which is based on the IMX8 one. Let's have a deeper dive into each of the platforms. You can have a closer look at the whole box, if you remove this cap. Uh, it has um, a number of sockets that we can plug in. It has uh, namely those two M.2 sockets, an M key and an A, and a plus E key. Uh, here at Halo we have a variety of boards that we can choose from. Uh, it is as simple as taking this, for example, this A plus E, um, fitting it in, into the socket, securing it, then you can close the lid and operational uh, you can go the socket. With the Myriac development board, we have a couple of PCI Express full slots. For these uh, full slots, um, we're using this uh, adapter board, basically just uh, convert from a full PCIe to an M.2. We can fit it here. Again, it's complete software compatibility for the Halo and the host processor. With the Blue Box, uh, being a high-end compute platform, we also have multiple options for connectivity. Uh, we have this uh, riser extender card, which we can fit either two full PCIe slots or two M.2 cards, based on the demand and the rate of the platform. For the EVK quad, um, we have the NIS, this uh, A plus E. Again, it's a simple plug-in, the, the Halo uh, M.2 module. Um, this platform is um, perfectly capable of processing multiple video streams, either from uh, CSI connections or um, getting on the PCI. And last but not least, um, for this SPC, uh, we have a different connector. It's a big key M.2, and for this we have the B plus M Halo module that yeah, just slides in with full software compatibility. Let's talk a little bit about different applications that uh, we can enable based on those different platforms. Um, starting from maybe the modest fly in this uh, company, uh, the IMX8 Mini, uh, this is a great uh, platform for a single camera. You can think about um, production line inspection or personal camera, smart AI camera, the perfect board for this operation. Moving to the a bit uh, more capable uh, PVK that can process up to four streams. We can think about a small and local NVR or a small um, gateway that can process up to four or something even more um, incoming streams. Moving towards our uh, stronger platforms, um, the Blue Box and the Gold Box, uh, these are really strong platforms with the S32G and the Lairscape processors. And the nice thing about it is that we can really scale up with the uh, compute power that this processor has. Uh, from uh, one Halo card that attached to the IMX8 Mini or to the IMX8 Quad, we can attach multiple cards to accompany higher uh, compute um, to enable state-of-the-art applications. The Microsys Myriad platform with the Layerscape processor embedded on it is a very powerful platform. It has two full PCIe slots that can fit up to five different Halo cards, so you can really scale up your application based on your needs. This high capacity of compute can enable you to run high-end industrial and automotive uh, scenarios and applications. You can think about um, high-resolution segmentation on that. You can think about fast and high-resolution detectors. You can think about combining these two together to run on multiple devices in super fast speeds.